What's up friends, Brandon here. You're watching the Scale Racing Channel. Glad to have you with me tonight. We're gonna to be running qualifier number two of the truck tournament. And this one is gonna be all Hot Wheels. This is gonna be a quick eight race. I've actually got nine cars on here. We're gonna run a uh, preliminary run first to determine who the last seed in the left-hand side of the bracket is. In my typical quick eight fashion, I'm gonna open up each one of these packages. We're gonna take a good look at each one of the trucks, get a weight, and then I'm gonna work the wheels on them, get them ready for action, and then we'll stack them up in the left-hand side of the bracket. If you saw qualifier number one, you saw the Johnny Lightning Coca-Cola Polar Bear Studebaker take the overall win. He's primed and ready for action. We'll be running all these trucks two at a time, heads up, down this quarter mile drag strip till we find the winner. Are you with me? Well, let's go. Truck number one, the Hot Wheels Backwoods Bomb from the Hot Ones collection. This one with the 2011 copyright date. Backwoods Bomb coming in a very 1970-ish uh, paint job. Kind of a metallic green. Not a lot of detailing on the grill. It does have the uh, throwback uh, Hot Ones style wheels, not the thin axles like the old ones, but uh, nonetheless, that's what it has. Metal body, metal base, and this one has a removable camper shell and that kind of resembles Larry's tow truck just a little bit and this truck weighs in at 56.9 grams next up the Ford F-150 this one with a year 2000 copyright date Solid gloss black with white racing stripes. Does have a uh, chrome front bumper and rear bumper, chrome in the bed. It's got kind of a yellow tinted windshield and side glass. It's got the three spoke wheels, metal body, plastic base. Weighing in at 40.3 grams. Next up, Jeep Scrambler from the same Hot One series, also dated 2011. Another gloss black truck, this one with the orange and red striping on the top and the sides. Actually kind of like the detailing on this truck, looks pretty good. Uh, no grill detail or headlight detailing, uh, nothing in the rear either. It does have a tan interior. Looks like he's, somebody's been chopping wood. Uh, metal body, metal base. Those are the funny car wheels, nice and smooth. 55.9 grams. Next up, the Hot Wheels race truck. This is the 2006 Selection Series. And it looks like 4139 out of 8590. Anyway, that's what the back of the car looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, it's in a, uh, I'll call it a methylate red, kind of an orangish red, depending on how you look at it. It does have the old uh, red line style wheels, the throwback style wheels, uh, two ginormous looking engines. Kind of very 60s look to it. Spoiler on the back. Pretty cool looking truck. Metal body, chrome metal base.
This guy weighing in at 55.4 grams. Next up, the 63 Studebaker Champ. This one with a 2010 copyright date. I love this body style. This is a solid red paint job. Black plastic tuno cover. This one does have the small diameter five spoke wheels with the Goodyear Eagle tampos on it. You do have some headlight and grill detailing. Nothing on the side. And a nice clean Studebaker on the back tailgate. Overall, very nice looking truck. Metal body, plastic base. Wheels are going to need some work. 41.2 grams. Next up, the Chevy 1500. This one with a 1995 copyright date. Oh man, I've been fooled. Plastic body on this truck. Metal base. I thought for some reason this guy was in metal on metal, but Hot Wheels, you got me. Does have some nice tampo work on it, I'll give him that much. A little bit of grill detailing on there. It does have the larger seven spoke wheels with the Goodyear Eagle tampos on the side. These roll okay, these will probably take really well to graphite. Uh, weighing in at 36 grams. 68 El Camino with a year 2000 model copyright date. This car coming in metallic orange does have kind of a two tone effect going on here, but that is actually, uh, it is tampo black but you've got chrome plastic edging going around, making up the bumper and the grill and the back bumper. And of course, this huge engine sticking up out of the bed. Classic rear spoiler. Uh, the body is metal and the center base is metal. Five spoke wheels. Lots of resonance. This one weighing in at 42 grams. 56 Flash Cider, Cars of the Decades Edition. This one from 2010. Number 1132. Nice metallic red with white scallops. It's got a tuno cover. Uh, with some more striping going down the tuno. No details in the back. Not much on the front. This is a metal body, metal base with a slightly lifting hood and five spoke wheels. Those will do well with graphite. This truck weighs in at 60 grams. And last truck for today, the 79 Ford F-150 from Attack Pack Series. This one with a 1999 copyright date. Hmm. This looks like a really dark navy blue once you get it out of the package. It's got some kind of a praying mantis on the side. I don't know. Okay. Chrome front grill, no detailing on it. Um, don't know if this removes or not. Doesn't look like it removes. So you got like a camper shell in the back. No detailing going on around there. Pretty long wheelbase on this truck. It is a metal body, plastic base. Camper is plastic. Five spoke wheels. They roll okay. This one weighing in at 46.8 grams. There you have them. We've got nine trucks here. And what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna work the wheels on these, 
get as much speed as I possibly can out of them. And then we're gonna run the two lightest weight trucks off first. And whoever wins that is gonna take the last seed in the eight slot bracket. And we're gonna go ahead and run the rest of these guys out. And make sure you stick around towards the end. After this race is over with, uh, I got a little bit of NASCAR action going on. And this ought to be interesting. So stick around for that one. Let me get to work. Much, much later. And we're back. All these wheels have been worked with graphite with one exception. And I was gonna run these two lightweight trucks off first to get this last seed spot in the bracket. And there's been a little bit of a development with the RLC race truck. Um, some of these you get lucky with, some of them not so much. Uh, this front wheel on this race truck does not roll especially well. Uh, I did the best that I could with them. I did use black ice on this guy. Typically these tend to like black ice, so that's what I'm gonna use. So I don't know how well this guy is going to perform. So what I'm gonna do is create yet another wild card round, if you wanna call it that. And I completely forgot about this truck. I had this one in my 50 car Hot Wheels display case. This is a Neo Classics, and this is the Baja Bandit. Such a beautiful casting in the Spectra Flame Orange. It's got blue striping going down the sides. It's got larger wheels on it. And this truck right here actually had the white inserted uh, bearings in the wheels. You can actually pop those wheels off and see the bearings. Um, this one is not that way. This one has your standard fair axles going straight into the tires. But like I said, I forgot I had this car. And uh, yeah, I think this one's based off the Ford Courier. It is a metal body, chrome metal base, and such a sweet looking truck. We'll get a weight on this guy. Let's see here. Fifty three grams. We're going to put him up against the RLC race truck winner of that race is going to take this spot right here and went to diecast extreme last weekend and he had i believe it was an american glory four pack um, this was one of the trucks or one of the cars that was in that four pack two of the cars had rubber bands going over the hood and it completely messed the paint up so he broke the pack apart and this one was sitting loose brand new and this is the byway man and uh, of course, it's got the red, white, and blue livery. It is a metal body, metal base. It does have the larger funny car style wheels on it, which is pretty nice, and they're smooth. Um, it's got a couple gas cans in the back. The detail on this truck is awesome, and you got a spare tire back there too. So I figured it would be a shame not to put this in the Hot Wheels truck race since I only have one qualifier of Hot Wheels trucks besides the 2009 Ford F-150. So we'll throw him into the mix. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the dice. Two. So we're gonna take this number two position and we're gonna roll him against the Byway Man. Winner of that race goes into this spot against the El Camino. If this makes sense, we're gonna run this off first second and third first race takes this spot second race takes this spot and the third race is going to take this spot and then from there on out it'll be a regular eight car bracket let's get this thing started all right wild card round number one I'm looking for at least a car length victory for a one and done. If I can't get a car length, I'll swap lanes, run them again, and two distinct wins will move the car onto the next round. If I can't get two distinct wins, we'll take a look at the video and see which car had the bigger beat, and that will be the car proceeding to the next round. On your marks, get set, go. Not bad. F-150 taking the first one. Lane swap, F-150 with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. Tight race. 
F-150 taking the second race. He'll be moving into the bracket. Wild card round number two. On your marks, get set, go! Ooh! Race truck with the win. Baja Bruiser was catching up to him though. Lane swap. RLC race trek with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. Mm. Baja Bruiser takes that one according to the finish line. Let's look at the video. Race truck with the bigger beat. He's going to move on into the bracket. The Baja Bruiser width pretty much fills up this track. He's a little bit tight going down that start ramp. I think that's the reason why he didn't perform better. Such a shame. Wild card round number three. On your marks. Get set. Go. Look at Byway Man. Wow. Byway Man destroys the Chevy 1500. Nice. All right, friends, this is our round one lineup. Truck tournament qualifier number two. This is race number one. On your marks, get set, go! Byway Man. Destroys the El Camino. He'll be moving on. A couple of hot rod camper trucks. On your marks, get set, go! A good race. Backwoods Bomb takes that one. Lane swap. Backwoods Bomb with the advantage. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Backwoods Bomb puts the F-150 to bed early. On your marks. Get set. Go. Scrambler. Scrambler with the jump holds the lead all the way down the track. He'll be moving on. Wild card round winners. On your marks. Get set. Go. Yeah. F-150 takes that one. I believe he had a little bit more than a car length gap on him. Round one of the books. Winners on the right, losers on the left. First race of round number two. On your marks. Get set. Go. Good race. Finish line calls the backwoods bomb. Lane swap backwoods bomb with the advantage. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh man. The bomb putting about half a car length on the byway man. He'll be moving on to the finals. Second race of round number two. On your marks. Get set. Go. Scrambler with the jump. Holds the lead all the way down. Not quite a car length though. Lane swap. Jeep Scrambler with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. 
Yeah, he did it again. Same result, different lane. Moves him to the final. Round two is done. Winners on the right, losers on the left. Backwoods Bomb versus the Jeep Scrambler for the final. Final race. Remember, I want to see two distinct victories to crown the champion. On your marks. Get set. Go! Yeah, Backwoods Bomb. <laughs> Driving past the Scrambler. Lane swap, backwards bomb with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go! Yep, he got it. Come. Backwards bomb taking the overall win of qualifier number two of the truck championship. Backwoods Bomb will be facing off against the Johnny Lightning Coca-Cola Studebaker in our final round. Because we gotta know, right? Let's see who's got it between the Scrambler and the Byway Man. On your marks, get set, go! Tightest race of the day. Byway Man taking it in lane number four. Lane swap. Byway Man with the advantage. On your marks. Get set. Go. Another good race. Another win for the Byway Man. Byway Man taking the number two spot. Jeep Scrambler in number three. Qualifier number one, this is our order of speed from fastest to slowest, uh, with the exception of the Polar Bear Studebaker. And qualifier two from fastest to slowest, with the exception of the Backwoods Bomb. All right, as promised. A little NASCAR action. We're going to put the number 99 up against the 44. On your marks. Get set. Go. Good race. Finish line calls the Exide number 99 Thunderbird. Thunderbird in lane four with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. Two wins, moves them on. All right, it's the number six, Valvoline Ford Taurus against the double zero, Talladega Grand Prix. On your marks. Get set, go. Ooh. The Grand Prix takes it. All right, we got two more Grand Prix. The number 30 Talladega versus the number 44 Pepsi. On your marks, get set. race. Number 44 takes it. Lane swap, number 44 and lane number 5. On your marks, get set, go. Finish line's calling lane 4. Let's check the video though.
Yeah, I thought number 44 had just a little bit of a beat on the number 30. And that last race, two wins moves him on. Well, we can't have a NASCAR race without a couple Suburbans, right? Okay. On your marks, get set, go. Holy moly. Number five ate its Wheaties today. That's a one and done. All right, round one of the mini NASCAR race in the books. Winners on the right, losers on the left. All right, we got the double zero Grand Prix up against the 99 Thunderbird. On your marks, get set, go. Good race. Thunderbird taking the first one. Lane swap. Got Thunderbird in lane number five. Lane marks. Get set. Go. It's close. It was close. Finish line calls the Thunderbird the winner on the second race. Let's check the video. Two distinct wins for the Thunderbird. Moves him on to the final round. Final race of the second round, the number 44 Grand Prix against the Kellogg Suburban. On your marks, get set, go. Wow, it's pretty close. <laughs> Finish line calls a Suburban. Only in the Hot Wheels world, right? Lane swap, Suburban with the advantage in lane number four. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, without a doubt, that time. Number five, Suburban, moves on to the final round. Winners from round two on the right, losers on the left. Stock car versus Suburban. We would have it no other way. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty tight. But it's the Thunderbird with his first win. Lane swap, Thunderbird in lane number five with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. Oh yeah. Two wins for the Thunderbird. I guess we'll be going to see the Gatekeeper now, won't we? All right, Gatekeeper race. I'm gonna take the Hot Wheels Thunderbird versus the Hot Wheels Thunderbird. On your marks, get set, go. Finish line calls lane number five, Thunderbird, the winner. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go. Number 99. Looks like he got him by about a fender. All right, checking the video. Number 99 in the stack. Just for your information, 44.6 grams on this car. Plastic base. Quick Trick is up next. Number 99 versus the Quick Trick. On your marks. Get set. Go. Another win. Lane swap. Thunderbird lane number five with the advantage. On your marks. Get set. Go. Oh, yeah.
Two wins against the Quick Trick. Moves him on. Number 99 Thunderbird against the Solid Yellow Murata Stalker. Three marks. Get set. Go. Uh oh. Murata taking that in lane five. Lane swap. Yellow Murata with the advantage in lane number four. On your marks. Get set. Go. Yep. Two wins for the Murata. He's safe. However, Number 99, Thunderbird. Quick trick, our new gatekeeper. Thunderbird is out. All right, you guys, probably gonna wanna see this. 46 grams. Again, this guy, long wheelbase, plastic base, five spoke wheels. Going up against our new gatekeeper, the quick trick. On your marks, get set, go. Lane four win for the Suburban. Lane swap, Suburban in lane number five with the advantage. On your marks, get set, go. Pretty decisive victory right there. We got a new gatekeeper. Okay, Suburban was in the stack. Ran it twice against the double zero Grand Prix. Lost both times. So the double zero, our new gatekeeper. Two new cars in the stack. And Suburban, fastest car in the display. The number 44 falling right below the Thunderbird. Number 30 right below the 71 Challenger. And there's the number six Taurus. Just above the Johnny Lightning Escalade right below the green 442. And I think the last car that actually got in was the 44. Just below that green Jaguar, slightly faster than the Mercedes. Uh, also, did some dusting on this guy the other day after my last race was over with, and uh, he actually did pretty well. Got up to between those two semis, and that is the new GT40 in the D case. The AE86 Toyota Torino the new gatekeeper into the display. These cars are gonzo. Well, Sterling Martin, not fast enough to beat the shoebox, never made it in the display. Guess he'll be picking up the soccer kids. All right, friends, that's all I've got for you tonight. Had a good time running these trucks off. Qualifier two in the books. Qualifier three will be coming up here shortly. Another round of Johnny Lightning. Got two new cars into the stack. Not bad for a buck a piece, huh? All these uh, NASCARs that I picked up from Diecast Extreme, one dollar. And these cars love graphite. Backwoods Bomb taking the overall victory for Qualifier 2. Still got six more slots to fill. Till next time, y'all stay healthy, have fun racing.